Hello everybody, Sinesk111 here, and welcome back to more FTL Faster Than Light. In the last part, I played as the Federation Cruiser Type A for the second time. I was able to make it to the flagship, but I still wasn't able to beat it, unfortunately. This time, we're going to do a second run as the Zoltan Cruiser Type A. Okay, just let me check to see if everything is good. Del... Declan... Starger... Matt... Halberd Beam... Excuse me... Leto... I still want to make it a decent way through easy before I go on to normal. Actually, how about this? Once I beat the Rebel flagship on easy, I'll go ahead and move on to normal and see what it's like. I've played on normal and hard difficulties before, but for now I think easy is going to be my best bet for me. I don't think I was able to make it to Sector 8 on either normal or hard. I gotta get some practice in for the time being before I move on to it again. Okay. So the three Zoltan crew members that we have on board are going to power up some of our systems. And once I get more, I should probably be good on my... in terms of reactor upgrades. I think I should go with the Leto for the time being. I don't know if the Halberd Beam can go through shields. If that is the case, let me just try it out real quick. It's been quite a while since I played as the Zoltan Cruiser. Any layout. Type A, B, or C. And if you've seen early in this video, I have actually been able to beat the Rebel flagship with the Zoltan Cruiser Type C. I don't know if I mentioned this the first time I played as the Zoltan Cruiser Type A. I just thought I'd point it out just in case. Forward scout of the Rebel fleet. I'm not letting him get away on my watch. Super shields prevent them from teleporting onto my ship. That's good. Although it's probably not going to last much longer. Normal shields can block laser weapon, beam weapons, fine. Oh dear. Gotta take care of it quick. Two against one, the intruder is outnumbered. Doesn't stand a chance. Bye bye. I forgot Zoltan crew members can automatically power up systems on my ship. That'll take some time to adjust to, but I'm sure I'll be fine a few beacons in. Automated ship, let's go for it. Right. Gotta power up my normal shield too. That 
it's hacking my engines. Well, it did hack later than I expected, but that was because my Zoltan shield was able to protect me from it for the time being. This jump beacon serves no purpose other than as a connection. I've got to get some good stuff in before I face the flagship. This weak auto surveyor. Let's go ahead and take it down. And it doesn't even have a shield either. So this should be a piece of cake. No sweat. Able to find a functioning anti-ship fire drone. Yes. Please don't be a trap. Thank you. Thank you for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire and we can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? I'll do it. Ah, uh, the quest beacon is actually nearby. That's good. Oh no. Meanwhile, multiple warning signals go off on the bridge. Remote planetary defense system, it's locking onto my ship. And they have a super shield bypass unit. Oh dear. This ain't good. Um, hopefully my Zoltan shield can can protect my ship against these anti-ship batteries for a little while. Ah, uh, no. Oh, dear. Anti-ship batteries can indeed go through the ship. Even with the Zoltan shield activated, it goes right through the Zoltan shield. That's going to be problematic. Uh... Okay, just go to the piloting, quick. Come on, please let this be the last thing this fires at me. Oh no. Crud, 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 crud. Come on, oh. Shoot. This is not good at all. I think you need to go heal up now. Ugh, damn it. Crud. Okay. It looks like I'm starting over. There's no way in hell I'm going to survive that. <sighs> yeah, it's clearly been a while since I've played as the Zoltan ship. Any type. Let's see what we have to start out this time. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. Surrender your goods. You don't want to fight? That's too bad. You're going down anyway.
And it goes down. The debris implies that the ship was carrying drone schematics. Nothing remains. I found a drone part. That'd be useful if I was getting some drones. Nothing but static here. And speaking of static, my fan is making a really peculiar noise. And I think I better turn it down before continuing. Actually, I just went ahead and turned it off, since I didn't know if it was going to actually continue making that noise on low. It was on medium. An advanced rebel automated ship remain, remains stationed near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what's inside. Let's get to that station. There it goes. And I got another halberd beam. Yet I already have one. But I bet it could be useful if I'm trying to cut ships in a really specific way. I still got all the time in the world to ex. Well, anything I'll do to make this quick, anything I'll do to make it easy, I'll do easier, I'll do it. Oh, come on. It was, it was right at the top. Oh man, I do not remember the Zoltan A being this hard. I don't remember the Zoltan A being this hard at all. Shields are critical. Let's go back to the Halberd Beam real quick. Alright, Leto it is. I'm not going to have a choice in the matter now. Oh. I think that after this, I'm... I'm pretty much gonna be done playing as the Zoltan A. Or any other type of Zoltan Cruiser for a long ass time. No, no, no. Fix that oxygen. Oh my god.
I really do not recall the Zoltan A being this hard to play as. I'm getting everything repaired, then I am immediately going to the nearest store for repairs. Alas, there's no store in sight. Uh... No, I'm not going there. Please do not be in environmental danger. Okay, it's not, but given my circumstances, to survive this fight is like, it's going to be legendary to survive a fight like this. Two hold points left. I think you're going to see why I'm not going to be playing as the Zoltan Cruiser of any type for a long while. ship's not that well equipped. Come on. You can't be serious. Well, it has no way of attacking me. To have an increased chance of survival, Get as many shields as you can. Hand over one of your crew members? No. I'm pro I may probably survive this. So long as the shots aren't too frequent. Baby, we got us a mantis. Eowyn. I don't think I've seen that name on FTL faster than light before. Still no store. That's gonna be a problem. It's a risk, but anything I'll do to help get my ship better equipped, I'll do it. And there we go. The ship is transporting Federation civilians on the run from the Rebellion, and we don't have the equipment to fight for ourselves. I don't have much to offer, but I can inform you of a hidden Federation base nearby. Perhaps they can assist you more. The quest beacon's all the way over there. I can get to it in two jumps. I can do this. It's not that strong a ship. I can take it on. I don't think bombs can go through Zoltan shields, either. They... The bombs can go through Zol Zoltan shields? I'm confused now. Ah, nothing useful. Oh well. 
least I can get my Lita weapon online. Ooh, a store. I'm going straight to it. I can't repair back up to full, but I guess that'll have to do for now. <sighs> Thank you, game. And I got me a boarding drone, too. So nice to see friends. We'll bring you up some supplies. Going to that store, then to that beacon, then the exit is risky. I'm not gonna do it. Straight to the exit. Avoiding the Federation fleet. Sorry, I don't have the missiles to trade. And even if I did, I need them for my Leto weapon. We're going to another civilian sector. And welcome to a new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before the pursuing rebels catch you. Well, I'm almost 22 minutes into this recording, and I'm debating whether I should end it here, given how long the video is. Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here, for right now. I'm gonna take a quick break, and I will get back to the game as soon as I can. But until then, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!